though insurance paid most of the $30,000 bill run up for intensive care on the Quince during their two-month hospital stay, a number of other things that were to have come have not come. The Louisville Board of Realtors volunteered to build the family a new home by this spring, but after only a few hundred dollars was collected last fall, the effort got bogged down and nothing else has been done. They are presently living in a tiny $130 a month rent house that is getting more crowded every day. The children go through $140 worth of food each week. That has been donated for the first year, but the Davises aren't sure what they will do in July. An educational fund was begun last fall by the local JCs. That grew to $115 and stopped. They contacted at least two Dallas talent agencies in hopes of commercializing a bit on the quince. That, too, has gotten no response. Probably the biggest problem has been that most people in town are assuming that Debbie and the Quince already have everything, you know, that they have uh, everything they need and that they have a lot of money and that a lot of things have been given to them, which just isn't true. 22-year-old Jerry Davis provides the only source of income for his family, but he has to drive a truck all over the United States to do so. He is home for one or two days every three weeks. Mrs. Davis worked at a local bank for a time, but found she was losing money by having to hire two sitters for the children. She has since quit her job. Nobody owes the Davises anything. Certainly, there are a lot of 22-year-old couples with children who are having a hard time making ends meet. But when one considers that roughly 1 in 65 million births results in quince and the accompanying financial hardship, the Davises are perhaps due at least some special consideration consideration which, for the most part, so far, has not come. Michael Brown, Channel 8 News, Louisville.